have the rock showing through the butt. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Hot Toys action figure review on Marvel's Thor Ragnarok Movie Masterpiece MMS 445 Deluxe Gladiator Thor 1-6 scale collectible figure. If you're sure to pick this up, you can design it. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to MarvelousNews.com for helping make this review possible. And I really like the package that we're seeing right here very nice purples throughout and you know he's all powered up with the swords and then we get this nice foil right over here it's nice blue foil anyway very very shiny I think that looks really dope and then on the side you get this nice spot varnish stripe coming around right there I like that and on the very top it says Marvel Thor Ragnarok and then at the bottom it says Marvel Thor Ragnarok and then on this side it says Thor Gladiator again you can see the arm wraps around and then if you do the Hot Toys plop come on Hot Toys plop Plop, but say, mm, eh, okay, that was kind of a weak Hot Toys plop, Thor, come on. But anyway, looking right over here, you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure, and you can't forget your cock and turret. You gotta have cock and turret. And then right there, you can see the Thor figure inside. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Lord of Thunder out of the packaging, looking pretty awesome. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, one of my favorite things about this figure is the face sculpt. I actually think they really nailed it. Uh, those of you that follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, I posted a picture of this head sculpt, and yeah, a lot of people were like, wow, I thought that was real. Now, there's some really cool things about this figure. He does come with a lot of accessories, and again, I do have the deluxe version, so he is holding one of the deluxe accessories. So let's get a closer look at all of them, and then we'll get a closer look at Sparkles. Yeah, as always, you want to take a look at the directions before you actually start messing around with the figure, uh, just because you can, you know, cause some damage, so it shows you how to move the helmet around, and you know, you get the swords, and then you get the holding of the things, and holding of these things, and holding of those things. So yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, it explains a lot of stuff, you know, don't pick at your figure, or, you know, paint it, or stab it. Anyway, looking at the base that comes with this, it's fairly standard issue, as far as, you know, the shape and design goes, but as far as the artwork, it looks really cool, I like it, it reminds me of Thor Ragnarok very much. I like this a lot. And you can see some parts of it are spot varnished, like uh, th this whole Sakaar uh, text right there. That's all spot varnished along with the Thor Ragnarok and the Marvel. I like that. And some of these bits right here, you can see they're reflecting light quite a bit. So that's pretty neat. And you get the adjustable cradle. Kind of like the, you know, the dynamic posing stand a little bit more. And then you can see that we get a metal plaque once again. So that is pretty cool. And here's all the accessories that come with just the regular version of this figure. You can see that we get eight interchangeable hands. We get fisted hands, relaxed hands. Hands, weapon holding hands and then wide open hands and we get some extra wrist pegs uh, some extra little buttons right there uh, some Thor disc thingies if you lose one of those so he has a couple of those on him already so there's spares of that and then you can see that we get the two different swords and the sheaths and then you get the club and the shield the club and the shield I'm especially excited for because out of all the Thor Ragnarok gladiator Thor figures out there uh, this is the first one to actually have this accessory along with the club and I think it came out looking great I love that weather detail. That is amazing. I'm very pleased with that. Look at that nice red paint on here too. That is remarkable. Very pleased with all that weathered battle damage. And then on the inside of it, you just slip the arm right through there. Oh, get my finger out. And this can rotate, and then you just attach the hands separately, and then you port it together, like so. That's what the directions say anyway. And you can see they kept up the weathered detail on the inside right there. And we also get the club, which is also great. I love this thing. I love that metallic red. And we get all these little gashes right here from the battling and all the damaging and all that. Nice weather detail in between right here too. That is awesome. Wow, and at the very end of it, that looks great. Just like not one centimeter is spared on this thing. And yeah, I said centimeter on purpose because that's a smaller unit of measurement, all right? Get 2.5 centimeters for every inch. We also get the swords, so that looks pretty cool. I like that. That looks really nice. Uh, these are the smaller ones and these extend out, you know, when he's ready for battle. 
That is very cool. I love this fade right here with the yellow and the red, and we get some more weathered battle damage. And then same thing with this this other one right here. This is kind of a little bit more rounded off at the handle. And then we have the sheaths. Uh, one thing I do to help me remember uh, which side to put this on the figure is that this dent right here is going to face away from Thor. But I really like you know this whole realistic leather look that we're seeing. And then it's all magnetized and it just ports onto his back. Well, it doesn't port, but it just kind of sticks onto his back, and that looks pretty cool. Even though it's a bit wobbly, whenever I'm posing the figure around, it'll kind of fall off or I'll knock it over or do something. Oh man, look how cool that handle looks. That is amazing. The details on this thing are just blowing my mind. And then looking right over here, we get some nice detailed continuing on with the fully extended swords, and they're very pointy too. I really dig that a lot. And just to be thorough, here's the other one right there. Looks really good. So you want to have him holding this in his right hand. That's how that went, so very cool. I'm very pleased with these. And then we also have his helmet too, so this looks really good. I like this a lot. And it has some articulation, so you could fold this up if you desire, and you could just push him back down. Uh, but they are not connected in any way, so you have to move them down separately. I don't like how flimsy this feels. I really feel like I could break this by accident a lot easier than I'd like to, so that's just a little bit of a scary thing with this, but I really like the weathered uh, detail that we're seeing right over here. The silver paint looks really good, and I'll just show how to put this on the Thor head sculpt in just a moment. And then here's looking at the deluxe accessories that come with this figure. So we get the Sakaar rifle, which is probably my favorite accessory out of the deluxe accessories. I think this is awesome. I really like it a lot. Nice translucent red plastic right here. Looks really good. Feels like the movie, you know, it reminds me of Sakaar a lot. I mean, this is a Sakaar rifle. Nice silver paint apps right there. That looks great, man. And as you saw earlier, uh, you can just get one hand holding it right here. We get some nice blue paint right there. And then the other handle is right here. So that is very cool. Uh, too bad that the Hot Toys Loki does not come with one of these. That would be great. But I didn't order that Hot Toys Loki figure from Ragnarok because I just don't like how that figure looks so far. I really like the Avengers version that I have already. Then we get these two swords right here that he used in the final battle of the movie, uh, which are pretty cool. Also short-lived. Not as short-lived as those blue swords as cool as those look I mean they're barely in the movie at all you know Hulk smashed them pretty much right away what's really funny is that Thor actually uses his dukes more in the movie than either these swords or the blue swords but anyway this one would go in his left hand if I remember correctly and then he had the smaller one right here in his right hand and he just you know swooped these up from some enemies while in that final battle so these look great. I really like them a lot. You know, they look beautiful. But at the same time, I kind of wish he came with the Odin Spear or the Odin Scepter. You know, he uses that when he's fighting Hela. And I do have the Hela figure and the Gladiator Hulk pre-ordered. But yeah, having the Odin Scepter uh, fighting against Hela would have been pretty cool to have. So again, JC Hong just killing it with these face sculpts, man. This is great. Oh my gosh. It looks just like Chris Hemsworth. They just did a remarkable job with this. That is absolutely fantastic. I think this is the best Chris Hemsworth uh, head sculpt that I've seen from Hot Toys. I don't know, they're all pretty good, man, but I just I get this feeling like they're getting more and more accurate as they keep producing more pieces, and this is just remarkable. I love the scarring right there and the hair from Stan Lee's haircut. You know, <laughs> he did an awful job. All these scrapes and everything. That is great. Look at the eyes, the red paint. I like how he's kind of looking off to the side, just barely. You know, he's not looking exactly straight on, even though it kind of looks like it. But I feel like he's kind of looking off to the side a little bit more. And then looking at the beard and the flesh tone, looks great. Looking at this side right here, works out pretty well. Yeah, and then looking on the very back, see this thing's kind of annoying. I'm just going to move that to the side, it's probably going to fall off anyway. Uh, you can see a little bit of the seamage from removing the hair. But you can see some more, you know, cuts and everything. So, yeah. And then there's a little bit of a shimmer, uh, metallic look to his hair color. I guess it could have been a little bit brighter. I don't know. I think he's a little bit more blonde than this. But I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. I mean, they could have added that little device that, you know, that sits on the neck. But, you know, they didn't have to do that. That's cool that he's just like that. He does remove it later on in the movie. So you can see that you can just take the head off. Uh, the helmet is going to split in half. So there's a back portion right here that you take off. And then there's a magnet on the top of the inside of the helmet. And I just love that we get the helmet back on Thor again. That just makes me so happy, as I've said countless times on this YouTube channel. And then you can just take this back piece, and it has three different ports that it's going to tab into right there. And we can just turn that around, and then you can see Thor with this helmet on, looking really good. And then we just flip each of these down, and then now we have the helmeted Thor. Looking great. I'm very happy with that.
that looks pretty awesome. I don't know if I want him displayed with or without the helmet on. I don't know. I'm kind of liking him a little bit more helmetless lately, uh, just because of Avengers Infinity War. But at the same time, I do love seeing the helmet on there. So yeah, I'm just kind of going back and forth with that whole helmet deal, I guess. And then looking at the rest of the figure, it looks really good. I mean, we're just, it's a Hot Toys figure, man. We're getting all kinds of nice details right here. Uh, you can see all the little silver or gold bits right there on this leather strap or leather, you know, it's fake leather. And he has his armor right here. You get the shoulder pad and you can remove all this. Uh, the directions say to be careful doing that. I don't know why you want to remove all that, but I like having all the armor on here. Really like how the black mixes in with the brown. And we get some nice Sakaar red paint right there. And all the hands have this detail right there on the back of the hand. That's really good. On the right side, he doesn't have that paint detail, but you can see some nice gold. The strap looks really good. I think the arms could have been a little bit bigger. I don't know, this dude's massive. I think his arms could have been even bigger, but at the same time, it would hinder articulation. But you can see some nice speckling right there in the flesh tone. You can see some veins. You do want to be careful leaving this guy with his arms bent because this rubbery material right here could get worn out and everything. So you do want to be careful with that. Looking at the belt, looks really good. I like that. Again, some nice details. And we have some soft goods right here for his crotch flappy flap. And then look at the very back, see the Thor butt, and then here's a strap going all the way through right there. And then the cape looks really good. It's all beat up and everything. You can see some actual black paint on it right here. That is awesome. I love that. I love it when they add paint detail to fabric. Just looks really good. I really like this cape a lot. That is just awesome, man. And then looking at the legs, uh, this is probably my least favorite part of this figure itself is just this side right here. I don't know. I have this hard time with this piece. It rotates a lot and it looks good. It's painted well and sculpted nicely. You can see some, you know, textured detail in there and everything. So it doesn't look awful. It's just getting it into place is just frustrating for me. Uh, on this side, it's not nearly as bad. You know, if you want to, I guess you could take that off, but I'm not really going to attempt to at all. I like how the red paint came over that. You can see some wear on it, little bits of silver on here, and some black. God, I love that detail, man. <laughs> it just looks great. Did you know I'm a big fan of details? Did you know that? Did you really not know that? And then look at the bottom of his feet right here. They look really good, too. And you can see his arms do look a little thin. I don't know. I wish his arms were maybe just a little bit bigger. But anyway, we get some decent articulation on this figure. Uh, you can move his head back and because this helmet comes in two pieces I always feel kind of like I don't know it's just kind of a flimsy helmet it looks great but anyway you can move the head up that much and you can move his head and neck moving down that far and then you get side to side motion right here and then you can get some head and neck pivoting that much and then he'll turn his head to the side that far uh, you get a butterfly joint right in there in the shoulders and you can get his arms moving outward that much on both sides so that's cool and you can see it can shift up and down too a little bit at the shoulders as well and you could rotate forward and rotate back uh, you get a little bit of oh, I felt like you can get some turning in here but I guess not you'll bend at the elbow at 90 degrees I really don't think you should leave your figure like well a little more than 90 degrees but don't leave your figure like that or even like that or even like that or well like that should be okay but yeah if you see any pinching right there you can cause some damage uh, you get wrist rotation and they all hinge in any direction you'd like and then you get a waist joint that just churns right here at the bottom more than anything uh, no real ab crunching forward and back you'd see it moving back just a little bit and just forward a tad uh, but as far as trying to get that waist joint to move there it goes you can see it churning side to side and it'll pivot just a little bit pretty limited right there I get scared of tearing this off it's yeah that nice suede uh, hip joints move outward just that far and he can kick forward that much and back the tiniest bit upper thigh cut double jointed knees then his ankle can churn side to side along with that whole section right here and you can get the ankles moving downward upward and he does have ankle pivot now to measure out this Thor figure it is a 1 6 scale figure and you can see that he's actually standing close to 13 and a half inches tall and then for your Hot Toys Thor comparison we have the Ragnarok Thor next to the Age of Ultron Thor and this is probably still my favorite Hot Toys Thor figure in my collection I really like that figure a lot and it does stand taller than the Gladiator Thor and I feel like this Thor could even be taller than it is uh, he does have the same arms so 
yeah, they just reused the same arms and electric effects or lightning effects. That would have been very cool to have with this figure right here. I would have really liked that. Also an interchangeable head with the gashed eye. That would have been cool to have too. And then here's our Gladiator Thor figure next to a couple other Hot Toys figures. We have the Avengers Bruce Banner figure and the Avengers Hulk from Hot Toys as well. And I think this Thor figure could stand a little bit taller. I know that we don't have the Gladiator Hulk to compare and I wonder how tall that figure is going to be. Uh, but yeah, I think he could stand taller even compared to the Bruce Banner, right? I mean, shouldn't Thor's head be closer to up here? I really feel he should be significantly taller than Bruce Banner. And then for a Gladiator Thor comparison, you can see we have the Hot Toys Thor next to the Marvel Select Thor and then we have the Marvel Legends Gladiator Thor and then the SH Figure Arts Gladiator Thor. Whoa, that's a lot of Thors. One thing that I think is really funny is that I felt like the big selling point on Thor Ragnarok is like, you know, you've seen Thor many times before, but have you ever seen him wielding two swords? And it's like, oh no, I haven't. And then in the movie, you know, the swords get decimated within mere seconds. And then Thor ends up using Hulk's hammer throughout the majority of the fight or his dukes, you know? So I just thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, you could see several differences between all four of these different figures right here. I will probably end up getting my hands on that Mezco Thor. And that Mezco figure is going to come with a shield and club along with some electricity effects too. So I'm pretty excited for that one. And then here's the Gladiator Thor figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Oh man, you really got your butt kicked by that green guy. Hey, I'm green. I could probably kick your butt. Come on, bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Come on. <laughs> I meant to say this earlier in the video, but happy Thor's Day, huh? There's no coincidence that I did post this video on a Thursday. And I gotta say, I appreciate it when you guys watch my videos, especially when you watch the videos all the way from the beginning to the end. It really does help out this channel a lot. As well as when you hit that like button if you like the video, as well as leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the figure, and please let me know what you think of the review. And if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, as well as that notification bell, please go ahead and do so. So I do like this figure, it's just not my favorite Hot Toys Thor figure and it comes with a ton of accessories and then there's just a bunch of other accessories that I wish we had that we didn't get so I think that's more of me just really liking Thor Ragnarok but the accessories that we do get here are pretty cool you know I'm mostly happy with them I really like that we get the club and shield more than anything else the swords are really awesome too it's fun doing the stop motion with the swords hope you guys like the stop motion so you know I have gripes it's kind of a flimsy figure and it's been a while since I played around with the new hot toy so you know there's also the adjustment of you know getting readjusted to how fragile these things are you know that can be a little bit frustrating like as this thing is spinning on the rotating base I'm like scared as hell it's gonna fall over because when these things fall oh my god dude it's it's awful anyway I'm giving this a sun rating of it's not so bad and I'd like to know what you guys think so please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this figure and if you're going to pick it up. I'm definitely getting the Gladiator Hulk and I do want that hella figure hella bad. Uh, if you want to see a photo gallery of images, make sure you check them out all over at MarvelousNews.com and if you want to follow me on the social media, check me out on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Links to everything I talked about in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.